Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I was planning to do a beautiful seascape with the sunset and I was thinking to do maybe a series of seascapes so tell me what you think about that idea and of course that is really not a hard thing for me to do because you probably already know that seascapes are one of my favorite things to paint and I to be fair enough I did not paint a lot of them lately so I was thinking to do this one a little bit more detailed and the rest of them same way same using same techniques but just a little bit more different seascapes so you can also practice more without further ado let's get started since the sketch wasn't really visible on my video I decided to cut it out and show you the photo of it and as you can see I've sketched horizon line I've sketched the place where my sun is going to be its reflection in the sea and also where the couple of waves are and the border where my land starts next thing I did is prevent my paper and I was careful not to wet the part where the sun is because I don't want my paint to bleed into that so I wet it around it I'm now mixing turquoise blue and azure to get the beautiful color for the sky and with that mix I painted around the sun leaving the part in the middle where the sun is going to be and a little bit around it white with the mix of Mother Lake Red Light and Cadmium Yellow Medium I'm painting in the clouds and some variety in the skies and right now I added a little bit more of Cadmium Yellow Medium and with a smaller round brush I'm in horizontal strokes I'm adding some more clouds with a white tissue paper I'm picking up some paint and also creating more clouds in the sky and while doing that I'm turning around my paper to get the different shapes after the paper completely dried I'm going back and repeating all those steps again first pre-wetting my paper then painting in the sky with the mix of azure and turquoise blue again skipping the part where the sun is also with the mix of Mother Lake Red Light and Cadmium Yellow Medium I'm adding in some clouds and color around the sun and with a tissue paper picking up the paint for the clouds it is up to your preference how many clouds and texture you want to add to your sky and I decided to add a little bit more clouds in a color Mother Lake Red Light because I was just missing that pop, that color in my sky but of course as I said it is a matter of your preference and if you want your sky to be lighter just don't add any more clouds and if you want it, want it to be darker, more textured just add as much clouds as you like the beach I will paint in a raw sienna and add a little bit of burnt sienna and at the end some sepia just to give it again some texture and diversity the part where the reflection is because my sand is wet it is reflecting the sun so the part where the reflection is I will paint only with raw sienna and not with the darker colors because I want that part to be lighter and same thing I will do when painting my sea also leave that part where the reflection is a little bit lighter for the sea I'm using same mixture of blues as I did for the sky and that is mix of turquoise blue and azure when the paper fully dried I pre-wetted it slightly and then again with the same mixture of colors I'm adding second layer to my sea adding just a little bit of indigo color and that second layer I'm just painting at the top on the horizon line and in the places where my waves are going to be in that way I'm actually making some shadows for the waves
When the paint is fully dried, I am now painting the waves and this time I did not pre-wet the paper, but I am painting it wet on dry. As you can see right now, after painting the line where the, my wave is, on the bottom part of that line, I am slightly smudging the paint. I rinsed my brush and only with the water, I am just smudging that part and actually creating again some shadow in the bottom part of the wave. In the part where my beach is still wet from the last wave, I'm just adding a little bit more of those blues to make it reflect more, to make it look like as there is just water that went back from the wave and left that part of the beach still wet. Now I'm adding a little bit more of cadmium yellow medium to the part where the reflection is to make it stand out, to make it pop and to be a little bit different than the rest of my sea and the beach. Along that yellow I'm adding a little bit of burnt sienna and also some raw sienna to make it stand out even more and reflect the sky in which we have all those colors in. After the paint dried, I'm using indigo and the mix of my blues and again going on the top of my waves to make them even darker and to stand out more against the rest of the blues of my sea. As the waves are more further away from us, they will be a slightly thinner than the waves are, that are nearest to us and also they will be less divided, it would be a smaller gap between them. So just keep that in mind when painting waves. And right now I'm using a script brush and here and there adding some darker parts on my closer waves and also on the waves that are further away and with the side of my script brush I painted in some texture to the sea that resembles some waves that are further away and also with the tip of the brush I added some more waves and texture. The fact that is probably familiar to all of you already is that watercolors dry pretty lighter than they are when wet. Of course this happened also to my beach and my sand. When the paint dried it, it just became too light and I wanted to add one more layer again with the same colors and same principles that I used before. Also, I'm adding in some more details to my sea and darkening the parts just beneath the waves and also on the sides of my paint, leaving the part where the reflection is, of course, the lightest. In the next couple of seconds, I will be adding just a little bit more details to my sea and the beach and also to my sky. As I said earlier, I'm planning to do a series of this sort of paintings, so let me know what you think about that idea. And also I wanted to say that this painting probably looked a lot harder than it is before we started, so I hope you stick to the end. 
and convinced yourself that this is actually not as hard as it looked at the beginning. One last thing I did to lighten my reflection is pick up the paint with a flat, smaller flat brush that is just slightly damped in the water and lastly added some more cadmium yellow medium around that reflection to make it pop even more. And well, I hope you like this video, maybe try this painting, I hope you will join me in my series of paintings and try to learn painting seas and seascapes. And thank you a lot for watching. And if you did like this video, please hit the like button, comment, tell me what you like, what you didn't like about it, share this video. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. It would really, really mean a lot to me. And well, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.